Hey guys, good evening. Let's enjoy the chess radiographs with Dr. Y. Session 17, Small Cell Lung Cancer, SCLC. Small Cell Lung Cancer. How did you feel about the session 16, Large Cell Lung Cancer? Let's review the session 16. A. We have learned and we remember a lot about lung cancer, and specifically about squamous cell carcinoma, adenocarcinoma, and large cell lung cancer. All are non-small cell lung cancers. B, this will give us some confidence and make us feel more comfortable in lung cancer radiology. Let's talk about the small cell lung cancer. It's about 15 to 20 percent of all lung cancers. There are strong association with cigarette smoking. Smoking is strongly associated with small cell lung cancer. In most patients, the cancer has already spread, already spread beyond the lung at initial diagnosis. Since this cancer grows quickly, quickly it tends to respond well to chemo and radiation therapy. Unfortunately, in most people, the cancer returns at some time, regrettably. About the small cell lung cancer, also known as old cell lung cancer, is a subtype of lung cancer separated from non-small cell lung cancer as it has a unique, unique presentation, unique imaging features, unique treatment protocol and prognosis. Small cell lung cancer is neuroendocrine tumor that grows fast, is highly malignant and widely metastasize and usually unresectable at the diagnosis. Pathology of small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer arises from bronchial mucosa. Local invasion occurs in the submucosa and subsequent invasion of a peribronchial connective tissue. Cells are small over with a scanned cytoplasm and high mitotic count, so it was named small cell lung cancer. Pathology of small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer is the most common lung cancer subtype to produce necrosis, SBC, superior vena cava syndrome, and paraneoplastic syndrome and 90 to 95% of small cell lung cancers occur centrally, centrally, usually adjacent to a loba or main bronchus. Radiology of small cell lung cancer. Now, after review of a pathology, you can imagine what small cell lung cancer will look like on the radiographs. I'll show you the images of PET-CT at initial diagnosis because PET-CT allows us to understand how far the tumors are involved from the beginning. Radiology of small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer arise from the main stem of loba bronchi and thus appear as hilar perihyla masses and frequently have mediastinal lymph node involvement. Mediastinal involvement is often the striking feature and primary tumor may not be apparent. CAT scan findings of small cell lung cancer. Mediastinal involvement may look similar to lymphoma with numerous enlarged lymph nodes. Direct infiltration of adjacent structure is common. 
in the large mass necrosis and hemorrhage are common. Rarely present as nodule, usually large on radiographs and CAT scans. Now we have basic information about the small cell lung cancer. And with this knowledge, let's enjoy the chest radiographs. What do we see? Avoid nodule here, maybe two centimeter, avoid. And emphysema and basal honeycomb lung. Honeycomb lung means interstitial lung disease provoked with strong prolonged smoking. UIP, usual interstitial pneumonia. Yes, there is nodule here, solitary pulmonary nodule in left upper lobe. This is an axial enhanced CT. This is solitary pulmonary nodule we have seen on the chest radiograph. And there are multiple lymph node enlargement on the left side. 10L lymph node here, AP window number five lymph nodes here. We didn't expect it on the chest radiograph of these lymph nodes enlargement. From the beginning of this session, I have told you that the manifestation as a nodule of small cell lung cancer is not common. It's rare, yes. This image is a PET CT, MIP image. MIP is maximum intensity projection, yes. What do we see? This is solitary pulmonary nodule at the left upper lobe, and there are many heart uptakes here. These are all number five lymph nodes and 10L lymph nodes quite same as the findings of CT scan images. This is a second case of small cell lung cancer. What do we see? Yes, retrocardia, haziness or retrocardiac mass about four centimeter, something like that, with underlying emphysema and usual interstitial pneumonitis. All represents the prolonged smoking history of these patients. This is manifestation of mass in left lower lobe, retrocardiac area. This is a thin section lung window setting CT. What do we see? Yes, four centimeter mass in the left lower lobe, retrocardia speculated mass left lower lobe with a plural nodule with a small pleural effusion representing plural metastasis. And these areas are emphysema and honeycomb lung, honeycomb lung. UIP emphysema and small cell lung cancer with plural metastasis in left lower lobe. This MIP PET CT scan image shows us left lower lobe mass, heart uptake here, and many heart uptakes in the left side of lymph node and subcarinal lymph node. And right side may be bone or lymph node on right side and spine metastasis. Yes, it is far more advanced than radiograph and CAT scan CT. What do we see? Yes, we already know this patient. This image is familiar with us. High density obliteration, obliterated and increased and deformed with lymphatic obstruction. These are all hyla small cell lung cancer as we know.
on this corona contrast enhanced CT, we see left hyalur mass conglomerated with multiple lymph nodes as a conglomerated mass. This is a manifestation of small cell lung cancer. What about this PET CT images? Oh my God, we didn't expect it like this. On the CT and radiograph, we only know this hyla conglomerated mass here. But what happened at the same time of initial diagnosis, conglomerated mass is here. What about this many, 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 many heart attacks? These are rib metastases, these are lymph nodes, these are rib, 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 spine, 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 pelvic bone, pelvic bone, pelvic bone, extensive whole body metastases. How about this patient? This is not an erect film. This is portable supine film. His condition is not good enough to take an erect film, I think. Total haziness, almost total haziness on the right side. Probably this is pleural effusion. And mediastinal shifting to the left side. And right bronchus intermedius is not clear not clear here maybe large mess here with pro effusion what do we see on this axial contrast enhanced ct almost all of this is tumor i think tumor extensive tumor mass with compression or invasion of left atrium Mediastinum, yes, very extensive large lung tumor. How about this passivity image? Uh, these hot areas are all glittering gold of small cell lung cancer. And this line of heart uptake usually means diffuse pleural malignancy, pleural metastasis. So this extensive big mass with pleural metastasis. There is no other heart uptake in other areas. How about this patient? At first glance, we see lower lobe lesion, very dense, very dense, with pleural effusion, pleural effusion, and another mass in retrocardia, left lower lobe, and remaining lungs are not clear, not clear, maybe emphysema, maybe metastasis, and we don't know about the right pertracheal area, maybe something wrong, and major abnormal finding is here, right lower lobe. What happened? Let's look at the PET CT. What do we found with this PET CT images? So incredible. Left lower lobe mass shows heart uptake. Right lower lobe mass shows heart uptake. Mediastinal lymph node, supraclavicular, large lymph node, and so many bones are involved in metastasis. Spines are metastasis. Pelvic bone shows multifocal metastasis here. Left side bone shows metastasis here. So how different with the chest radiograph and PET CT scan in small cell lung cancer? Usually, the staging of small cell lung cancer is progressed, advanced in PET CT images than radiologic images.
Although we are not happy with these images so far, regrettable, but what can we do? Let's move on to another images, another patient's images. How about this? Large mass, large mass or consolidation, consolidation or mass, whatever will do. Okay, right hyla density, forearm lymph node, right paratracheal stripe obliteration, and increased density in right infrahyla area. What are they uh, saying to us? These are all tumors. These are all tumors of small cell lung cancer. This is the actual contrast in the CT. What do we see? Mass, nodules, 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 plural seeding. For our lymph node of mediastinal lymph node enlargement metastasis. So that's right paratracheal stripe obliteration here. Mass with lymph node invasion. What do we see? This is another incredible image findings of this patient. What do we see? Huge, very strong, very large uptake here. All mass, all lymph node metastasis. Are they all? No, we have more. What do we see? Two heart uptake in left femur, bone metastasis. This may be spine metastasis or just in ureter. I don't know. Anyway, huge mass with bone metastasis. How about this patient? Somewhat looks simple. Yes, protracheal lymph node. Right protracheal stripe obliteration. Right protracheal stripe obliteration is always, always very important like this because we sometimes see here small cell lung cancer, tuberculosis, lymphadenopathy, lymph node metastasis, and another lesion is lymphoma. This right side image is his last year chest radiograph. Last year he was okay. Normal right protracheal stripe, nothing here. But today he has something like this bulging mass and right protracheal stripe obliteration. Yes, yesteryear was normal. This is his actual contrast in S2 CT. What do we see? Yes, large, bulky lymph node, protracheal lymph node enlargement at four site. Protracheal stripe obliteration. We don't see any primary tumor in peripheral lung, just only lymph node mass here. This is small cell lung cancer. As we have seen before, his last year chest radiograph was normal. So fast, the growth of small cell lung cancer is so fast and so quick. This is PET CT image. What do we see? For our lymph node enlargement, is that all? No, we have more and more things than that. Many more lymph nodes around here, around here, and also large supraclavicular lymph node enlargement. Are they all? No. Right gluteal muscle, muscle metastasis here. Yes, usually more than that are on the PET CT scan. I think now 
we are veterans of radiographic findings of small cell lung cancer. Are we sure? How about this image? Yes, we can imagine. What about this? Yes, we can imagine. This is solitary pulmonary nodule. We got it. We got it. But lymph node metastasis is much more than that. Much more, much bigger, much larger than primary site of solitary pulmonary nodule. Can we imagine? Can you imagine? This actual CT image shows what as exactly as we have imagined from this film. Yes, sartor pulmonary nodule, 1.5 centimeter, extensive, very extensive conglomerated lymph node mass here. Yes. Is this central type or is this peripheral type? I don't know. I don't know. But I guess this solitary pulmonary nodule be the primary tumor and then these lymph nodes represents the metastasis. How about this PET CT image? Solitary pulmonary nodule here, extensive, huge, congruent Merated mass here, supraclavicular lymph node. Are these all? One more. Pelvic metastasis. Usually, as I told you before, usually PET CT image shows more than CT image data. PET CT findings are usually, not always, more than the findings of the CT findings. How about this image? Are you fed up or still have more energy to go on? This is the last case. Let's go on with this last case. Be gentle, okay? What do we see? The background lung is not clear. And basal lung shows honeycomb lung. Okay, heavy smoker. Yes. What do we see here? Yes, four centimeter mass overlapped with a diaphragm. Yes, mass. Large increased density compressing the left major bronchus, right major bronchus, and right infrahyla structures is not normal. So these are all mass. This is all mass. And what about this? This seems to be mass or pneumonia. Yes. And how about right lower part trachea area? Distal trachea is not good looking. Okay, this is another mass too. So mass, 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 and mass with the background usual interstitial pneumonia. Very, very serious. Right low lobe mass was confirmed as small cell lung cancer after biopsy, but right upper lobe lesion was not confirmed, but we presume as an adenocarcinoma, so we presume as double primary lung cancer. And these are huge conglomerated lymph node masses. So after confirmation of small cell lung cancer, we performed CCRT, concurrent chemo radiation therapy. After that, improved, the right low lobe mass was very small or even disappeared. And main bronchus are looking normal and the mass shadow decreased or disappeared. Right paratracheal lesion also disappeared, but right upper lobe seems to be same as before. Another six months have passed. 
another six months have passed, improved at first, and then later increased, increased, or increased, or increased, or increased. This may include the radiation pneumonitis area. Anyway, or increased after later improvement. Finally, sometime later, small cell lung cancer usually returns to bad condition. These are the initial image of a CT and PET CT. This is right lower lobe mass of small cell lung cancer, extensive conglomerated lymph node metastasis, and presumed to be right upper lobe adenocarcinoma. At first, at the PET CT, we see small cell lung cancer, lymph node metastasis, and presumed adenocarcinoma here. Are they all? No, we have more. Pelvic bone metastasis at the first glance, and another lesion here. This is small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer is so unhappy, usually unhappy. Now we finished learning about the radiographic findings of small cell lung cancer. How do you feel? Be happy? Be sad? I don't know. Take home message after learning of small cell lung cancer imaging findings. One, lung cancer is very tough guy for us to fight. Especially small cell lung cancer is very, very tough guy for us to fight with. Two, we don't have to fight him. We don't have to fight with lung cancer. Don't have to fight with small cell lung cancer. Why? Because just don't smoke. Just don't smoke would make us avoid him, avoid lung cancer, small cell lung cancer, and then we'll be free from anxieties of many cancers, including lung cancer. This is the take home message of this session. Answer for the last quiz Osteoplastic metastasis of breast cancer. Osteoplastic metastasis is famous for women in breast cancer, famous for men in prostate cancer. Yes, are you correct? Congratulations. This image is the quiz for the next session. What happened to his spine? Like, subscribe will be a big support to me. Thank you very much.